So one of the things we want to do is when we speak phrase by phrase is to work on our thought groups, right? So in sound, focus three on thought phrases. We're talking about how we group words together in phrases that make sense as thought groups. And so when we're talking to each other, we're not so conscious of each word. Now, when you're a beginner learning a foreign language, you have to be very conscious of words at the word level. But now you're intermediate in it and more. So you already know how to make sentences. And so you have ideas. And so what we want to try to help you do is to get your ideas across. Not to get your words, but to get your ideas across. So you have to think of what is the general thought and what are the words that are, are, are put together like that. So if you put several words together in a, in a sentence, um, in, in a, in a phrase, how does the listener know that it belongs to a phrase? Well, if you look at the book, you'll see different markings, but you're not going to go walking around with a book. So how do you show that your phrase begins and ends? What, are, what indicates that these words are together or a phrase? Well, one of the things is you can pause slightly between this group of words and the next. And if you pause slightly, then that's, that's one indication. Another indication is the stress and intonation pattern. So if you have a, a thought group, you have to stress one of the words. Which, is, which word is the key word? Which is the focus word? That's the one you stress most. And what about the intonation pattern to join these together? So let's say you start over here, you da 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 you go up on the key word, and then you go down. Then that tells the listener that this group is a thought phrase and that this word is the focus word. That is, this word is the most important. Now, if we're talking about numbers, like telephone numbers, that we have 999, 9999, then we typically end on the last number, right? When we tell our telephone numbers, 408, 855, 5544. So that's what we typically do for our telephone numbers. In, when we're talking about words in a sentence, we typically end on the last content word. Most of the time, I'm a teacher, and I teach at Mission College, right? So those are typical ways that we show our intonation. A little bit of pausing, and the intonation pattern goes like so over each, each thought phrase. Are you looking out the door for a reason? Is it time? Are they waiting for us? <laughs>